Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, do a short video to show the Kydex panels that I've been making up. And this is uh, obviously up the front of the cockpit. And this forward panel here is separate to this one here. There's going to be a join down the, down the middle of those two. And then there's another join just down here. And in fact, if I reach in, you can see that this panel actually lifts right out. What I've done is that has a 90 degree bend and tucks underneath the, the aluminium floor panels. The same with this one here and also this one. In fact, this one I've got the floor panel out and you can see the 90 degree bend. So the floor panel then sits on top of it. And it wasn't as hard to do as what you might imagine because if I then look at this, uh, this is the right hand forward cockpit panel um, right beside the rudder pedals. It's just to orientate it correctly. And what I did is I actually put this panel in place. I forced the floor panel in, and I'm not sure if you can see, it's actually molded itself around the fuel lines and uh, around all the aluminium tabs and everything. Doesn't look particularly neat from the inside, but you don't actually really notice it. What it does mean is that it fits absolutely like a glove. Um, and there's no way that's coming out. Um, if I just pan back here, you can see how I've curved the top over and, th and that actually just um, that really locks it into place there. I'll come around to the other side and you'll be able to get a view from the other side. The workshop's a complete mess so just excuse that. But yeah they, they just pop out quite nicely and that retains itself on the top of the, um, the 4130 tubing there. I can't pop it out because I've actually got the floor panel in place there. But it gives you an idea. Same with these uh, wing root panels. That's the right hand side and if I just stand back a little bit you can see the left hand side I've got the door off so you can see uh, it was actually quite easy just to I molded that in place and that actually just clips quite nicely around the the tubing there there's nothing retaining it at the moment up the top but I think by the time I get um, the, the fuel sight gauges in place I think that'll retain it quite neatly this one at the back at the moment is just sitting here and there's nothing holding that. Uh, I've actually bent a 90 degree. Yeah, if I, if I move that, you can see the wing root panel has got a 90 degree bend in it. And what I'm going to do is just retain this with Velcro. It's very, very light. So I'll, I'll do a separate clip and I'll, I'll weigh them for you. Okay, so I've got all of the left hand side cockpit panels, including the wing root. And also the panel that is eventually going to go onto the door interior. Um, let's call that about, say, 1,050. So that's, that's in grams. So that's uh, 1.05 kilograms, something like that. And then there's one more panel um, that we need to add on. This is the panel that, uh, that, that goes at the back of the skylight in between the wing roots. We'll call that about, uh, I don't know, let's call it a... 130 grams. So that should uh, hopefully give you a reasonable idea. It was uh, 2250 grams, which if I convert that into pounds, that's exactly five pounds in weight for the Kydex. Now, I don't think it's really additional weight because I would have to cover it with something, most likely fabric. And even if I use a light or I'd probably use a medium weight fabric myself using the Stewart systems, uh, I'm gonna then have to uh, cover that fabric in glue um, to seal it. And then it's gonna to have to be primed and then painted. So again, there is gonna be a weight there that we'd have to subtract off the additional weight of the Kydex. Personally, I'm quite happy to wear it at this stage. If I end up doing very um, short takeoff and landing ops in the back country or competitions, I may need to revisit that, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to save a lot of weight there. The other uh, thing that occurred to me is, okay, so what I've done is I've already covered um, the aft cabin in fabric. Uh, that's a lightweight fabric and I have uh, increased the coverage down low by, uh, I've got about a foot wrapped around of medium fabric just to strengthen it up where it's likely to be uh, high wear and tear. So I've kept it very, very light. I've also got my aft bulkhead um, back there made out of core flute and really, really happy with that because that's pretty light too. Maybe I'll throw that on the scales in a minute. Okay, this is the rear bulkhead uh, panel that sits at the back of the uh, cargo compartment. So I'll just put that on the scales. Um, let's center that up. Okay, so 
That's showing uh, about 650 grams. So I'll have to do the maths on that, but times 2.2, right? So it's going to be, uh, what, 1,300, probably uh, 1.4 pounds, something like that. What I'm trying to say, I guess, is that I've kept the whole cabin pretty light and that the only increase is due to the Kydex and it's very close to the centre of gravity of the aircraft. So I think that should go reasonably well. So it's food for thought. Some people might like it. Personally, I found it very, very good to, um, to fabricate. You can uh, grind it, you can cut it easily with scissors or shears. You can use a Dremel tool on it and it sands quite well. Just very, very easy to work with. The hardest parts that I've found to make up, and I'm still struggling with them a wee bit, are these panels for the door. And this is one that didn't turn out. This is actually my first effort. Um, and probably a little bit hard for me to, to show you, but that's actually going to sit on the inside of the door. Let's see if I can get a better view on that. That's going to sit in there, something like that. I mean, it, it wraps right around. It probably doesn't look too bad in the video, but I managed to uh, get, get it just a little bit too hot. And uh, as a result, if I get the light on that, you can possibly see there's a few finger marks in there. So I'm, I'm working on um, the second or third iteration of that. But overall, it's really, really good to work with. So I hope this helps a wee bit, guys.